Meet Jesse Loriston Livermore, an American stock trader who was considered a pioneer of day trading and was the basis for the main character of Reminiscences of a Stock Operator, a best-selling book by Edwin Lefebvre. At one time, Livermore was one of the richest people in the world. However, at the time of his suicide, he had liabilities greater than his assets. In this video, we are going to be looking at the remarkable story of Jesse Livermore, a legendary trader whose strategies and life lessons continue to inspire traders around the world. Jesse Livermore, often referred to as the boy plunger and the great bear of Wall Street, was one of the most famous stock traders in history. Known for his remarkable ability to predict market trends, his story is a blend of extraordinary triumphs and dramatic setbacks. Born on July 26, 1877 in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, Jesse Livermore was the youngest of three children. His early life was marked by a deep fascination with numbers and financial markets. By the age of five, Jesse was already reading financial newspapers, displaying an innate curiosity about the world of finance. This early interest would set the stage for his future career in trading. At the age of 14, Livermore left school and home to avoid working on his father's farm. He took a job as a board boy at Payne Weber, a brokerage firm in Boston. This role involved posting stock quotes on a chalkboard, but it also provided Livermore with an invaluable education in the mechanics of the stock market. Here, he honed his skills in reading ticker tapes and understanding market movements. Livermore's early exposure to the stock market environment ignited his passion for trading. His exceptional memory and analytical skills enabled him to recognize patterns and predict market behavior, laying the foundation for his future success. This period was crucial in shaping Livermore's approach to trading, emphasizing the importance of observation and analysis. By the age of 15, Livermore began trading in bucket shops, which allowed him to bet on stock price movements without actually buying the stocks. His early trades were remarkably successful, and he quickly turned a modest sum into thousands of dollars. His intuitive grasp of market trends and his ability to read ticker tapes with precision gave him a significant edge. However, Livermore's journey was not without its challenges. His initial success led to overconfidence, and he lost all his earnings in a series of poor trades. This setback taught him the importance of risk management and humility. Determined to bounce back, he returned to the bucket shops and refined his trading strategies, focusing on pattern recognition and market psychology. Livermore's first major breakthrough came during the Panic of 1907. Recognizing the signs of an impending market crash, he took short positions and profited immensely as the market tumbled. This trade not only restored his financial standing, but also solidified his reputation as a keen market observer and a master of short selling. Livermore's ability to anticipate market movements set him apart from his peers and established him as a formidable force on Wall Street. Livermore's most notable achievement came during the 1929 stock market crash, a pivotal event in financial history. As the market soared throughout the Roaring Twenties, Livermore sensed that it was overheated and ripe for a downturn. He meticulously studied market indicators and economic data, noticing the rampant speculation and unsustainable price levels. Convinced of an impending crash, he began to build substantial short positions. Livermore's confidence in his analysis paid off. When the market crashed in October 1929, he made approximately $100 million, equivalent to over $1.5 billion today. This immense profit was a testament to his ability to read market sentiment and act decisively. His actions during the crash earned him the name Great Bear of Wall Street, highlighting his prowess in identifying and profiting from market downturns. But Livermore's success wasn't just about making the right call. It was also about timing. He understood the importance of patience waiting for the perfect moment to execute his trades. His discipline and unwavering focus allowed him to navigate the volatile market landscape with precision. Livermore's achievements were not confined to short selling. 
He also excelled in long positions during bull markets, demonstrating his versatility as a trader. His ability to switch between bullish and bearish positions based on market conditions highlighted his adaptability and deep understanding of market dynamics. His trading philosophy emphasized the importance of flexibility and responsiveness to changing market trends. Livermore's success stories continue to inspire traders today. His methodologies remain relevant and influential. By focusing on price action and market sentiment, Livermore developed a framework that transcends time, offering valuable insights for modern traders. His legacy in trading strategies underscores the timeless nature of his contributions to the financial world. Despite his financial successes, Livermore's personal life was marked by turmoil and tragedy. He was married three times, and his relationships were often strained by his intense focus on trading and the pressures of his career. His first marriage to Nettie Jordan ended in divorce, largely due to his obsessive trading habits and the stress it brought into their lives. Livermore's second marriage to Dorothy Went produced two sons, Jesse Jr. and Paul. However, this marriage also faced significant challenges. Dorothy struggled with Livermore's volatile financial situation and his frequent mood swings. The couple eventually divorced and the emotional strain took a toll on Livermore's mental health. In 1933, Livermore married Harriet Metz Noble, a wealthy socialite. Despite his attempts to stabilize his personal life, he continued to battle depression and the pressures of his trading career. Livermore's personal struggles were compounded by his financial ups and downs, leading to a life of emotional and psychological turbulence. His experiences highlight the often overlooked personal cost of a high-stakes trading career. Jesse Livermore's trading career was marked by extreme highs and lows. He declared bankruptcy twice, first in 1915 and again in 1934. Each bankruptcy was a result of significant market misjudgments and over-leveraged positions. These financial setbacks were humbling experiences for him, but they also underscored his resilience and determination to bounce back. After his first bankruptcy, Livermore returned to the market with renewed vigor. He meticulously analyzed his previous mistakes, emphasizing the importance of risk management and discipline. His ability to learn from his failures and adapt his strategies allowed him to rebuild his fortune multiple times. His journey through financial ruin and recovery is a testament to his unwavering commitment to trading. Livermore's second major comeback came after the 1929 crash. Despite the massive profits he made during the crash, the subsequent market conditions and regulatory changes presented new challenges. The introduction of the Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC) and new trading regulations required him to adapt his methods. His ability to navigate these changes and continue trading successfully highlights his adaptability and strategic thinking. In his final years, Jesse Livermore continued to trade but was plagued by persistent depression and personal issues. On November 28, 1940, he tragically ended his own life in the Sherry Netherland Hotel in New York City. Livermore left behind a poignant suicide note addressed to his wife, expressing his feelings of despair and acknowledging his struggles with mental health. His death marked a sorrowful end to the life of a man who had once been the epitome of Wall Street success. Despite the tragic conclusion to his life, Jesse's legacy endures through his contributions to trading strategies and market analysis. He authored several books, including How to Trade in Stocks, where he detailed his trading philosophy and methodologies. These works continue to be influential, providing insights into technical analysis, market psychology, and risk management. Livermore's emphasis on meticulous research, disciplined trading, and emotional control has left an indelible mark on the world of finance. His life serves as both an inspiration and a cautionary tale. What can we learn from Jesse Livermore's life and trading career? Here are some key lessons that stand out. Number one, risk management. Livermore's experiences highlight the crucial importance of managing risk. 
Over-leveraging and failing to control losses were major factors in his financial downfalls. Traders should always use stop-loss orders and never risk more than they can afford to lose. Number two, market timing. Livermore's success was largely due to his ability to time the market. By studying market trends and economic indicators, he could predict major movements. This emphasizes the importance of thorough market research and patience in waiting for the right trading opportunities. Number three, emotional discipline. Maintaining emotional control was essential for Livermore's success. His ability to stay calm and focused even during market turmoil allowed him to make rational decisions. Traders should strive to keep emotions in check and avoid impulsive actions. Number four, adaptability. The ever-changing nature of the market requires traders to be adaptable. Livermore's ability to modify his strategies in response to new regulations and market conditions was key to his resilience. Flexibility and willingness to learn are essential traits for long-term success. And number five, persistence. Livermore's story is a testament to the power of persistence. Despite numerous setbacks, he continued to refine his methods and returned to the market with renewed determination. Persistence and a commitment to continuous improvement are vital for overcoming challenges and achieving success. Jesse Livermore's story is one of incredible success and profound lessons. His trading strategies and life experiences offer timeless insights for traders today. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more fascinating stories from the world of finance. What lesson from Livermore's life resonates most with you? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.